Hi, I'm Monica. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Thanks for accompanying me, and I'd be happy if you subscribe me and ring the bell. <laughs> Let's go to see my reaction to Best of Family Guys. <laughs> What do you want, Chris? Is it pump time yet? Why do you care? Meg, I'm a member of a very specific dark web internet site. Don't try to find it, you won't be able to, but this would be fairly monumental there. Mom, Chris is being disgusting. So are you. We're all disgusting, that's what family is. Ugh. I knew this was a bad idea. Yeah, marriage blows. No, I mean Meg's pregnancy. I wish we could just fast forward through the next couple of months until she gives birth and this whole thing blows over. All right, Rupert, time to make use of that crude Boston body double. Here we go. Lois, I'd like to request a later bedtime, please. I'm a big boy now, and I think I can make it to 6.45. Go away, Stewie. Mommy's looking at real estate listings and dreaming of any life other than this. I see. All right, then. Your new bedtime is whenever you want. Splendid! I also have a school-related task for you. Um, class, I, I know Teacher Jeremy said everyone would get a turn as Classroom Star of the Week, but new plan, uh, Stewie will now be Star of the Week every week. Fast! We gotta get out of here! Hang on, Lois, there's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! <sighs> well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. All right. Well, since Brian's not coming back, I, I guess you and I should try to develop our own comedic patter. Guess so. Oh, hey, can I get some of that pie and Cool Whip? What did you say? We can't have pie without Cool Whip. That's not how you're supposed to say it! You said it weird! Whoa, buddy. It was, it was just a joke. Somehow this is at my expense! I know it! No, it's a goof, man. It's, it, it's my bit, bud. Oh, you like bits, huh? Well, this is my bit. Wanna ride the Stewie go round? Ah! Make it stop! I can't! Ooh. It's like an SNL bit. Too long with no ending! Wow, Kevin, James, I can't believe you're here. Hey, guys, we got company. No nude wandering. Well, so much for full frontal Fridays. Wait, Triple F is a no-go? Look, I'm here because now that I don't have any viewers or a job, I need you to take care of me. What, is that some kind of rule? Of course it is, Lois. In network TV, if someone shows up at your door, you have to take care of them. It's the pilot of most shows. Oh, really? Name 50. New Girl, Two and a Half Men, Punky Brewster, Perfect Strangers, Frasier, Will and Grace, Friends, Joey, yeah. Home Economics, Mom, Dads, Cheers, Hope and Faith, Raising Hope, Full House, Full of House, King of Queens. That's good. I, I think we get it. Hey, Meg, what's up? <gasps> a cool kid said, what's up? <laughs> oh, it was just a dream. <gasps> Goldie! No! Ugh, oh, fifth one this week. Oh my god! Mr. Clompers! <laughs> Stay with me, Mr. Clompers! Stay with me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. 
Yep, looks like things are finally Ooh. starting to turn around for the mega read out. Oh, Mickey. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not a dumpster. Oh, Put no. me down. <gasps> Man, this job sucks. I don't know. Ladies running with trash bags and no bras on is pretty cool sometimes. Wait. Right on cue. And now the mind creates scenarios and so forth. No, no, this is a name all 50 kind of show. Too close for comfort, oh, Mark and no. Mindy, the nanny, Mr. <laughs> Belvedere, the United States of Al, Yes Dear, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, the TV series, Rhoda, Golden Girls, Alf, Migo, Empty Nest, Wings, My Two Dads, Evening Shade, I Dream of Jeannie, Off Center, Webster, The Bernie Mac Show, The so Return of Jezebel please. James, Aliens in America, Last Man on Earth, Union Square, Bram and Alice, The Grinder, Bleep My Dad Says, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Damon, Happy Endings, oh Big Brother Jake, Three's no, Company, no, no, Mama's no, Family, no, and Who's no, the Boss? No, no, no. Oh yeah? Name 50 more. <sighs> Silver Spoons, oh, The Odd no, Couple, The please. New Odd Couple, Different Strokes, and... <gasps> oh, my God! She hung herself! No, no, that's from Airplane. We do that kind of stuff, too. You can stay. I think we're stuck here. Yeah. I'm also bummed because I'm missing that Australian guy's marriage to his catamaran. Didgeridoo, you take this boat to be your wife? Well, didgeridoo. And now, if there are any spiders the size of dinner plates that object to this marriage... Really? Then speak now, or forever hold your peace. Go get him, mate! I now pronounce you... Man and boat. That's so cool. <laughs> I say, Brian, look. Three rows down. What? Is that Tom Bosley? What would Tom Bosley be doing on a train in Switzerland? I'm, I'm almost certain. Tom! Did he look? I don't know. Well, if I yell, you have to watch. So cute. Tom Bosley! No, it's not him. <laughs> Well, well, I love no it. TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Dead-end job, crappy house, aging wife who's getting skinny where fat's supposed to be and fat where skinny's supposed to be. Ha! <laughs> Mag, go to your room. God, I'm sick of Mort always borrowing our stuff. He's a bigger mooch than the Mexican <laughs> Super Friends. Hey, uh, Mexican Superman, can I talk to you for a sec? When you Mexican signed the Superman? lease, you said there was going to be like five of you living here. Oh, no, they're not all living here. They're just visiting. Hey, Mexican Superman, I got the keys made. Hey, Mexican Batman, get out of here. What? I got like 60 keys. Silencio, jefe aquí. Que? Eviction. Peter, stop it. What am I supposed to do without a TV? Hang out at the Gap? Could you please point me to your blandest shirt? One that I'm guaranteed to see four other guys wearing before I even get to my car? Sure, it's right over there. Just be careful while you're browsing that you don't lose track of which white guy is you. Oh, that looks good on me. The Gap, the only clothing store named for a taint. Located between Bureau Wang and the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Look, I know this seems like a big change, but we don't need a television anymore. Yeah, Dad. A single TV console is outdated. Everyone just streams now on their individual devices. Who is this person who speaks to me as if I needed his advice? Dad, I'm just trying to bring you into the modern era. I see. <gasps> oh no! Wait up there! Sorry, just demonstrating I'm still relevant by making a very old movie reference. <laughs> you made it, Brian. We're in India. Excuse me, man with no pupil? Where can we get a taxi cab around here? All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> this is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing yes, up. Yes, I see. I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Lois! 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 <laughs> is your wife named Lois too? 
No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. <laughs> Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 Ah, uh, Joe, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Mmm, got me. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are looking good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, don't flip them too often now. You don't want to lose your juices. Yeah, yeah, coming along nicely. Oh, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down to the exact same spot. All right, they're done. Time to eat. <laughs> And what's this giant, empty, football stadium-sized room? Oh. Oh, the post office yeah. anticipates that within the next five years, at least 200 million men in this country will be ordering and receiving real dolls. Every man will have seven to nine real dolls. Asians, oh, no. blonde southern girls, blonde Asians capable of performing every possible sexual act. Oh. Or at least incapable of refusing. You can put one in your car and drive in the carpool lane with it. And then maybe you push her head down, thus defeating the purpose of the carpool lane while fulfilling the purpose of the real doll. Maybe a trucker goes by. You say, hey, Janine, give him a show. Maybe later you ask yourself some tough questions like, why is it so important to you to impress and excite truckers? Anywho, grab that letter opener. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Oh, thank God. It's just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. I love it. I love it. Making dinner, babe. <laughs> Thanks for watching me. <laughs> Thanks for watching me. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.